Nvidia finally released the DJX Spark AI supercomputer, but should you really buy this for local AI? Jensen initially announced the DJX Spark in July at Computex. At its launch, the significance of the DJX Spark was that it had the equivalent memory and performance of the original DJX, which is 1 petaflops of AI compute and 128 gigs of memory. So what changed since the initial release? Today, the difference is that people actually have these and have published benchmark results showing us actually how fast it is. And the results are interesting. So first, the bad news. The DJX Spark costs around $4,000 today. And obviously that's significantly more than a single RTX 5090 and is getting into really expensive GPU territory. Now the issue is that the Strix Halo 128 gig from AMD and the Apple Mac Studio with the M3 Max CPU both perform almost twice as well in local inference on GPT OSS 120B. And the kicker is these devices are also almost half the cost. Even the 5090 is pretty inexpensive compared to this device. And there's a little bit of variance, but this is a recurring theme with local inference. You have to understand what this device is to understand why this performance isn't necessarily that surprising. This all starts with the GB10 AI chip that makes this entire device possible. It's basically a shrunken down version of the GB300, which is one part a Blackwell GPU tied to a bunch of HBM memory, and on the same chip is a Grace Hopper ARM CPU. So although you'd think that since this is from NVIDIA and it's been purported as a local AI device, NVIDIA's even promoted it this way, the difference is that this is more so meant to be a test bed for people building models that will train and run inference on their massive GB300 chips rather than the dual master of local AI. So unfortunately, I probably wouldn't recommend buying the NVIDIA DGX Spark for local AI inference. Stick with GPUs or spend $2,000 more and get an RTX 6000.